Welcome to Lecture R6, Division with Whole Numbers. So let's talk about division and what it means. Division is the process of separating something into parts. So finding of a quantity that the quotient, that when multiplied by the given quantity, the divisor gives another given quantity, the dividend. So let's take out the the multiple parts there. It says the quotient multiplied by the divisor gives us the dividend. So dividend over divisor equals quotient. So if we think about it, if I multiply the quotient by the di divisor, I will get to the dividend. That's what this whole definition means up here. Let's do an ex exact example, but first let's talk about notation. 10 divided by 5 is the same thing as 10 over 5, is the same thing as 10 slash 5, same thing as 5 divided into 10. Okay. So the quotient, this, is the result of dividing the dividend by the divisor. A lot of vocabulary, and we're going to talk about it over and over and over again. So be sure you understand your vocabulary. The quotient is, in essence, the answer to a division problem, where the numerator is the dividend and the denominator is the divisor. So if we're talking about writing it out, the quotient of 15 and 3, in symbols it would 15 divide by 3, 15 divided by 3, so on and so forth. Remember, we have multiple ways of writing out a division problem. The quotient of 3 and 5. 3 divided by 15, 3 over 15, 3 slash 15, and 15 into 3. The quotients of 8 and n. And if you think about it, it's 8 over n. That's usually the most common way of writing div division at this point. And then x divided by 2. x divided by 2, x divided by 2, x divided by 2, 2 into x. And the quotient of 21 and 3 is 7. So 21 divided by 3 is 7. Now I just want to go right back up here. The dividend in this instance would be 21, the divisor is 3, and the quotient is 7. So let's go through the meaning of division. So 32 divided by 8 means 8 times what gives us 32? So if you're off to the side, 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, and 8 times 4 is 32. So 8 times 4 is 32, and therefore 32 divided by 8 is 4. So it's kind of a roundabout way of going um, through this process. But 32 divided by 8 means 8 times something equals 32. 8 times 4 equals 32, therefore 32 divided by 8 is 4. Okay, I want to quickly go through some examples. So 18 divided by 6 is 3 because 6 times 3 equals 18. So 32 divided by 8 is 4. We already did this one because 8 times 4 is 32. 10 divided by 2 is 5 because 2 times 5 is 10. And 72 divided by 9 is 8 because 9 times 8 is 72. So again, division is the opposite of multiplication. And sometimes it's easier to think of it in terms of multiplication and working backwards to the division problem. So division by the one digit numbers. So that is 165 divided by 5. So it's too long to figure out by listing all the multiplications. So we use a process. And here's our process. I'm going to show you the whole thing, but I'm going to walk through it step by step. Okay. So 5 into 465. Can we divide the 
5 into 4? No. So we're going to grab the next digit, which is the 6. So now we're going to look at the 46. Can 5 divide into 46? The answer is yes. Well, how many times does 5 go into 46? 5 times 9 is 45, and 5 times 10 is 50, so 10 is too much. So we're going to write the 9 above 46. 5 times 9 is 45, and then we take the difference, which is 1. Now we bring down the next digit in our dividend, our, our uh, yes, our divisor. No, 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 not our divisor, our dividend. I said it right the first time. Now, how many times does 5 go into 15? 5 goes into 15 three times. 3 times 5 is 15, so we write the 3 above the 5 we brought down. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 minus 15 is 0. And we're done. And we can check this by saying 5 times 93 is 465. And we'll get right back where we started. So let's try another example. So let's go ahead and look at five, 595 divided by 7. Okay. 595 divided by 7. So we look at the 5. 7 does not go into 5, so we now look at the 59. <clears throat> and off to the side, I went ahead and wrote down 7 times 1, 7 times 2, all the way to 7 times 9, just so I have a little cheat table to go off of. So 7, 59, 56, 63 is too much, so 7 times 8 is 56. So above the 9 and 59, we write the 8. 7 times 8 is 56, and we subtract the 2. We're left with 3. We bring down the 5, and now we're working with 35. How many times does 7 go into 35? If we look on our chart, 7 times 5 is 35. We subtract the 2, it's 0. We make sure that we wrote the 5 above our last digit. So, 7 goes into 595. 85 times. And we can check that off to the side if you want to do the 85 times 7. So here's a couple of practice problems. Why don't you go ahead and practice them and turn off the video and then come back and see how they're worked out. Okay, so let's go through these one at a time. 3 into 267. 3 doesn't go into 2, so now we look at the 26. 3 goes into 26 8 times, because 3 times 8 is 24. We take the difference. It's 2. We bring down the 7. 3 goes into 27 9 times. 3 times 9 is 27, and we subtract, and we are left with 0. Perfect. So 3 divides 267 89 times. Let's try one more. 6 into 30, uh, 138. 6 goes into 1, nope. 6 goes into 13 twice, so that's 12. 13 minus 12 is 1. Bring down the 8. 6 goes into 18 three times. 6 times 3 is 18. Subtract the 2, we're left with 0. Okay. Now let's try one more. This one's a little bit longer, but we'll go through each of the steps. 5 goes into 7 one time. 1 times 5 is 5. Subtract the 2. So 7 from 5 is 2. Bring down the 6. 5 goes into 26 five times. 5 times 5 is 25. Subtract the 2. We're left with 1. Bring down the next digit in our dividend. 5 times 15 is uh, 5 goes into 15 three times. 3 times 5 is 15. We're left with a 0. But we're not done because our dividend still has one more digit. 5 goes into 0, 0 times. Write the 0. 5 times 0 is 0, and now we're done. So the final answer is 5 goes into 7,650 
1,530 times.